Hey guys, what's up? The Fisher back again in RimWorld Alpha 9, where I fucked up. Uh, I accidentally didn't record my audio input, so yeah, this is all post commentary. Uh, I could have gone back and re recorded it, but a whole lot happened in this video, so I wanted to put it up. Uh, we finished our little hut for our battery, which we're putting in right now, in preparation for attacking this. Uh, what is this, fourth or fifth alien pod thing? Which sucks, I'm getting kind of sick of them. Uh, but, you know, it's money when we sell the, the core and stuff, so I'm pretty happy. We're ensuring people prioritize finishing the, uh, finishing the battery, because it's very important. We need to start charging it up ready for when we finally attack. Uh, but while we're waiting for our attack to happen, there's uh, another thing happens. Wow. Firstly, we're uh, we're sorting out all our weapons and stuff, making sure everybody's equipped. But then suddenly fire happens, and uh, Sierra nearly gets blown up. Uh, but we deal with that pretty quickly. We get uh, everything repaired up. Uh, but we did lose all the power in the batteries, which sucks. So here we are. We're ready to attack the pod. Um, we're getting everybody set up in position. We have a, a really nice uh, position here with all the all the guns. Really, anything that comes out, we're we're feeling pretty good about killing. Uh, Lego is having trouble getting where I want her, but that's because Pablo is running late. But he'll get up here eventually. Um, uh, at this point, I'm not really knowing what to expect. Uh, the pods have been getting harder and harder, with more and more enemies inside. But we end up being fairly pleasantly surprised. Don't forget to turn on the guns, guy. What are you doing? Come on. There, turn on the guns. And have people kickstart this by shooting the pod. I hate watching fucking post-commentary, or recording post-commentary, because you're waiting for yourself to do things, and it takes a million years. I think I decide to have somebody else shoot. Yeah, Camaro. We get in on the action. Because Legoa kind of sucks. But there we go. Everything pops out. And it's not too bad. Just a couple of scythers and a centipede. And we have a ridiculous number of guns. So we're we're not feeling too, too worried. One of the scythers goes down super quick. The centipede has a heavy charge blaster, so no fire. Which we're very happy about. Because fire sucks. Uh, we're gonna stay with with the uh, recorded footage here. I want you guys to see all of the combat and stuff, so we'll just wait for the centipede to go down, and we can deal with the pot itself. These centipedes are always really hard to kill, but it does go down eventually. I decide to let all, let everybody head back to base and have a rest before we deal with the pod because I'm not too afraid. Uh, worst thing that can happen is some crazy animals at this point, so I'm not worried. The next day we tell our guns to engage the pod itself, while our people come up to help out a little bit. But with all these guns, the pod isn't going to last too long. I did try and uh, box select all the guns and have them all attack, but you can't designate a, a forced attack target with multiple guns selected, which sucks, but these things happen. Alright, eventually we do kill the pod. Any minute now. There we go. So job well done. But then, some pirates come. Who are planning to besiege our colony. Jerks. I notice these two guys are going to bump into them, which kind of sucks. At first, uh, they don't fight each other. And I thought maybe they were friends, but then suddenly <laughs> murder happens. And they didn't stand much of a chance. But some people come to help from uh, from Friendship's Forest. So we make the decision to grab up everybody and uh, go and help those guys in their preemptive attack of the, the enemies that are besieging them. As soon as I manage to select everybody, that is. And a wild boar goes mad. That's not too much trouble. 
Okay. So, our friends who came to help uh, don't seem too interested in fighting. What I think happened is they were passing to our base um, to try and uh, defend from our fortifications. The AI didn't seem to understand that they had to go through the enemy to get to our, our base. So, turns out they were no help at all, which really sucks. So we're, we're kind of left out here with our, our dicks in the wind fighting these guys without the benefit of defensive fortifications and guns and such. But we're already committed at this point. So I decide to, to press on with the attack. Uh, for better or for worse. So we have our, our guys with survival rifles laying down some fire from range. Uh, I was talking at the time about how it's a shame that suppression isn't actually a thing in Room World. Hopefully that'll be a thing we see at some point. So these guys shooting at them from range actually keep their heads down, which allows our guys to move up. Luckily our guys can move up because they're using that that big wall as cover. Sierra gets her toe shot off, which sucks, but she's okay. She, you know, it's just, just her toe. She wasn't using it at all. Um, but we're moving up our, our guys with PDWs and automatic weapons to uh, stronger positions, but we trigger their assault, which doesn't really matter. We're we're committed here. Now keep an eye on that vast guy. He's throwing hand grenades, and he's gonna prove to be the bane of my existence. He blows up Julie, but you know she's fine. She's a little bit hurt, so we we decide to send her back off home. Uh, we'll deal with her when we get back. And some visitors. Well, we don't really have time for visitors, guys. We're kind of in a pitched battle. But Vass blows up Pablo. One hit kill with a hand grenade. Must have landed right at his feet. He gets completely wrecked. His torso gets destroyed. Which is uh, pretty bad. You kind of need your torso. He was our doctor. Nobody else has any significant doctoring skill, which is kind of sad. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, we decide Vass has to die right away. And just then we notice that the boar is actually attacking us from the rear. That boar, I said, didn't matter. He's here, and he's pissed. Kamaro and Lego had deal with him, though. Or just Kamaro, in fact. So I send Kamaro and Sierra around the, f the flank. We're trying, to, we're trying to get shots on Vass to take him out. We realize that Vaz has turned his attention to Cheetah, so we run her back behind that wall to get him out of sight. Which does work, they, but Vaz starts throwing grenades at Sierra, and bad stuff starts happening. We move Trogdo up to the corner again, and have Cheetah run around while Vaz is distracted. But we just can't get the fire on these guys that we need. We hide Cheetah again, because that vast guy with his fucking hand grenades is dangerous as shit. And we're just hoping we can uh, put enough bullets into him that we, we stop this grenade madness. Because he's the only significant threat right now. He repositions. Kamaro gets shot quite badly. Uh, so we, we fall her back just a little bit. Just in time. We really do have to kill that fast guy, but he is really hard to hit, turns out. We do eventually knock him out, which means we can get Cheetah properly in on the action. A lot of fire going in at these guys at this point. But that Viper guy in the back with his survival rifle, he turns out to actually be pretty dangerous. I hadn't really been paying a whole lot of attention to him shooting at Sierra. But he does score a hit and knocks her out. So we, we grab Kamaro, we tell her to take Sierra back to base. But Viper starts to push up. And he gets right in our face. And see, he's, he, he looks like he's trying to, to head Kamaro off at the pass, as it were. And that's pretty much what he does do. Lego is trying to kill him. But he manages to get to some semblance of cover and start shooting at Kamaro and Sierra at practically point-blank range. 
somehow he doesn't manage to score any significant hits. But Lorenz uh, goes down and Viper decides to flee. We keep firing at him, but we're not too interested in killing him. We do manage to get Lorenz as a prisoner, as well as uh, another guy. Uh, Vass, I think it was. But they bleed out, as does Sierra, before we can manage to get them any medicine. Which is a shame. We do kind of want to replace Pablo and now Sierra, but uh, sometimes, sometimes you just can't get to him in time. We have a lot of wounded. We did make Legoa and somebody else medics, but it wasn't enough. And then we have some pirates decide to come and hang out. Uh, we wait for them. They they attack and get wrecked by our guns, as we're pretty used to seeing at this point. So long as they're attacking our base, we're we're pretty safe for the most part. Uh, but we see a familiar face, Ng. We wound her and she runs away, and we, we try and capture her. Um, but she's a little bit too fast. She manages to make it off the edge, as does Shonya, another person we're trying to uh, trying to capture. Uh, it's unfortunate. We, we, we need to replenish our, our people a little bit. I am having some weird uh, video glitches. Hopefully that's not too annoying. But Shania gets away. We, we, we try. That's not too bad. Would have been nice, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we do have Psycholos, though, a prisoner. We decide we're going to recruit him. He's pretty good at growing, so he, he'll replace Pablo in our hydroponics area. If we can get him. Which we do. And we set up his, uh, his jobs to basically be the important things, uh, we make sure everybody can do a little bit of cooking, just so they can help out with the butchering and stuff. Uh, but we decide to make him primarily a grower uh, and a miner, and he'll help out with hauling and construction and stuff um, when he has uh, the opportunity, whenever that may be. A little bit of cleaning and hauling. Always nice to have some have people do that if they have absolutely nothing else to do. Uh, we get a trader. We decide to offload a bunch of our marble blocks, which reminds me that we haven't yet finished our hospital. Uh, so we do that. We dig out the rest of the walls and replace them with marble blocks, and we 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 set about doing the floor in marble as well. And cargo pods, rice, delicious. What's happening here? I don't know. I think I think we're done. Okay. So yeah, this was kind of sucky, but you know, we'll we'll get back. I'll, I'll record another couple of videos. So we'll have a couple of proper videos. Uh, but I think this is gonna be it for this one. Kind of a little bit of a highlight reel. Uh, but I, I'll record another couple of proper episodes. So thank you once again for watching. As always, I've been the fish. See you next time.